Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here, welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, oh, we dropped off the rusted shield and rusted sword at the stumbling wheel, only to be attacked, only for two weirdos claiming to be the royals of the Galar, Shieldbird and Swordward, to take them. We were able to get the sh rusted shield back, but unfortunately we couldn't get the sword back, and now they're out on the loot. What they plan to do with it, we don't know, but we need to track them down. Sonya has apparently knows a way on how we can find those two weirdos. So let's head to our lab and see how we can track them down. This should be relatively interesting. Hmm? Professor Sonia, you have a visitor! Hey Donnie! Glad you're here! You got an assistant! Spot on! I've been busy with my research, so I decided to bring Ing on some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose has been gathering here, here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant's been handling things in a proper fashion. She really ha- she really been helping- helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't done un- I have- ugh, I really haven't been doing mu- Uh- Let me try that again. I really haven't been doing- doing all that much. You're Donnie, the champion, correct? I'm really glad to get to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want, want you to have a look at. You remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where dynamaxing is possible. Basically, the, when there's a high concentration of Galar R particles, the readings spike. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. So does that... So what does that mean? Could it be exactly? Follow the readings of the power spot detector and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Swordword and Shieldbird might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Let's get back on the topic though. I placed power spot detectors all around Galar, and now Al, it's their time to shine. Power spot detector access! Look at her go! So let's see, where on the map are they? Ooh, we're detecting something at Turret Field. Is that where they've gone to? Whoa, whoa! That's way bigger reaction than I've that I would uh, ever thought. Look like it's coming from Turnfield Stadium? You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be Eternatus. You've already caught it. Maybe something related to those Sword and Shield weirdos. You should go and check it out, Donnie, since you're our snazzy new champion and all. I'll set at... I'll set up your town map to show where those strong particle old reactions are coming from. So have a look at it. So we now know our destination. Let's go check out Turnfield Stadium. I'm so glad to be working for Professor Sonia to have dedicated it to decorate to to tolerate at such young age. She uh, doctorate? How do you say that? She's really an amazing person. Flying taxi, ahoy! We are going to Turtenfield. Let's see what's happening at the stadium. Well, everybody's gone except for Milo and Pierce. Hmm, you are. 
Hello there, champion! So you came! What's going on here? Huh, how carefree can you be? You're the new champion, you're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an expedition match with Pierce. Then the Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff have already took shelter. I got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Hop. I do expect nothing less from the Gym Challenger. I knew we could count on you. I lost it in the semifinals, though. Ah, Donnie! I chased those red and blue guys. I saw them head into Turnfield Stadium. Then I heard that uproar, and there was no way I could uh, uh, leave it alone. I had to help out. So, uh, sorry. I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. Hmm, those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon on to settle down first. I'll be glad add for your help against and such a tough looking opponent, Champion Donnie. Of course. Alright then, let's head to the pitch. I'll lend a hand too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, but I'm still a bit muffled. Oh, they d upstage me. You come too, bro. Oh, the old champion. I don't know how much I can really help. If I came along, I might just end up, s up show it, slowing the rest of you down. I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon would would be all lost about this. Though he does really, though he though he does get actually lost a lot. You're coming. Um. Okay. Piers might look scary, but he's great at looking at other, looking after others. He's a big brother, after all. All right, we should get going too. We're battling it. It's a Torina. Sorry, Torina. Tosarina! Keep wanting to say Serena! Because I think it does have a similar pronunciation. So let's Dynamax and burn it down! for the first hit. I should get a sunny day so that will increase our fire attack moves. Ooh, Hop had, oh, but he missed. I was gonna say that was that really gonna benefit uh, Hop's Incinerace, but he of course he misses with Pyroball. Why she didn't go for uh, Arsenic. We get an apple acid. Special defense has gone down, so uh, let's hit her with another ma uh, max flare. And she goes down with ease. Phew! Looks like things have finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff, no matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. I can see your dislike for Dynamax still hasn't changed, Pierce. There was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere. And the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. 
Normally, a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax band in order to Dynamax, but... Okay, so how do you explain the Dynamax Pokemon in the Dynamax dens? Seems there is some discord in the harmony between Trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, Donnie? I did. So you notice, something was was off too. There's no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery, mystery wrapped in an enigma. I'll make sure to earn for uh, Jim takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out out here. Thanks for that. Oh, Do and Donnie, if you ever ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. We get Mallow's Rare Lee Card. Alright then, follow me, little, little Tessarina. Well, 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 looks like the Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, 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 the champion as expected. Ah, it's you two! I knew you would be here! Give us the rusted sword back! Well, I never... Well, I never. It's not like something that belongs to you either. Even if it was your, even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Ah! Get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply don't apply to us. Yes, that means we. That, bleh, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? Who is this ruffian to question us? You're just some, uh, someone with strange taste and hairstyles. His entire style is completely black and white. Nonsense, isn't it, older brother? You think I do put any faith in words from rude little punks like you? But it sees our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let us try Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Cerceon and Somerseta. What was that about Cerceon and Somerseta? You despicable old champion. We are going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid-looking bottoms. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. So you are the ones that cause all this. Stop. Calm down, Hop. You don't. Oh, oh, gotta act so hard. But they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. But still. Ah, fine. You're right. I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. And that and that they plan and to continue doing it. I won't allow it. Yeah. This is no time to be hung up on getting back the rusted sword. Donnie, Pierce, we gotta stop those two. Uh, let me see. Before we do that, let's take a little read at uh, Mallow's uh, Rare League card. Though his record isn't the best due to his focus on simply having fun in battle battles, Mallow himself is incredibly strong. The rolls of hay he used in the gym challenge each weigh over 770 pounds. Yet Mallow can roll them around easily. Wulu tend to roll around too and sometimes they get carried away and roll out of the gym stadium. It, is it has become a common in Turtle Field to see the whole town chasing after Mallow, who is in turn chasing after a stray Lulu along with Yamper. <laughs> All right, do you two say anything different? Where would those red and blue buffoons have gone off to next? Let's head out and look, Donnie. How are those two making Pokemon Dynamax without any Dynamax bands? With that, I think we'll end the episode off here. In the next episode, we'll chase after those two. Hopefully, we might get a clue on where they're heading next. So if you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos. It helps tremendously. 
subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later.